from KPRC. You're watching Local 2 News at 5. She's a sprinter and she has goals of representing mm -hmm. our country, but she does have one problem that's about to be solved. She only has one leg. Coming up next, the story of a woman fighting to make it into the Paralympic Games and the help that she's now getting. As we mentioned, she dreams of running for gold, and now she may have the chance because of a special gift. Daphne Hegrenis is aiming to make it to the 2010 Paralympics with a little help from a high-tech prosthetic foot. KPRTC Local 2 Sports Director Randy McAvoy is live with us, and really the story of just an incredible athlete here. No doubt about it. A story of uh, overcoming adversity mm -hmm. and pursuing that goal no matter what. We found that out today. Daphne Hegrenis is 22 years old, and her dream of becoming a 2012 Paralympian is back on track. Thanks to the support of her husband, Jeff, and Houston-based charity, Limbs of Love. Daphne and Jeff call Colorado and Ohio home, but they'll always appreciate their 48-hour stay in Houston. It's really cool to go from not being able to run to learning how to run, but it's not easy. So it's very special to have people that care enough to want to help me. Daphne, who lost her leg to cancer in 2008, has dreamed of representing Team USA at the 2012 Paralympic Games in London. I didn't want losing my leg to define who I was and not being able to do things I love. For her, as you see, running is a symbol of freedom and it invigorates her. Tuesday, Daphne and her husband arrived in Houston where she was fitted with a high-tech solution, the Cheetah Flex Foot. This prosthesis is preloaded so as she stands on it that keel is already bent and ready to run so all she has to do is apply force to it. The new special racing limb which costs around twenty thousand dollars replaces Daphne's original prosthetic leg she used for walking and running. Now after an emotional two years her Olympic dream is back on course. It's just been an awesome journey with them and I'm so thankful for them. Tell you what, her husband Jeff is awfully proud of her. He and Daphne return to Colorado. They leave tomorrow. He's going to continue working. She'll continue workouts at the U.S. Olympic Training Center. We wish her the best of we'll luck. Be what a good story. No yeah, doubt. She's going to do story. amazing things, that gal.